Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel Coffee by Products. This is my first video. I want to explain to you uh, what is coffee and what is uh, eco organic uh, sustainable coffee by products. And we're going to um, focus on those two items today. What is coffee? Um, coffee is a tree and they produce its own berry or cherries and these berries are processed in a wet or dry proof way. There are three varieties of coffee commercially, Arabica, Robusta and Liberica. From these beans they are roasted, uh, they are uh, um, uh, and crushed and uh, you can make a drink called coffee as well. Whatever is left and um, this is normally uh, waste is called a coffee by products. Uh, only 9% of the plant is used, 91% of the, the coffee tree is, is waste. That's what we are going to explain. What is a coffee by product? Coffee by product is any part of the coffee plant that can be used to produce any food or any other um, article or item. My name is uh, Mauricio Murillo. I am a um, food engineer specialized in uh, food technology and uh, technology and innovation. Um, I've been working with uh, coffee and coffee by products for the last 27 years. And um, um, to give you a little bit about my background, I study at the University of Jorge de Lozano in Bogota, Colombia, where I did uh, some work. Um, I was teaching, uh, lecturing uh, students at uh, the university for the engineering, and also I worked for the Colombian Health Department, where I also worked with uh, different food companies. In, uh, in 1996, I traveled to Australia, and I specialized at the Queensland University into some postgraduate degrees about uh, food technology and, and research and development of new products. Um, since then, I've been increasing my knowledge in coffee and I traveled to Italy and I took some um, courses in uh, north of Italy in Trieste where I became a judge for international coffee competition in uh, tapping. I traveled to Africa, traveled to Costa Rica, and I've been judging coffees and coffee quality around the world. Um, in 2010, I found, um, as part of my studies, that um, I was looking for uh, a new uses of um, coffee, and um, I found uh, that the coffee by pros could be the solution for the coffee crisis. Um, since uh, that time until now, um, I'm seeing uh, many crises in the coffee industry, especially in Colombia, in Africa, and the climate change also um, makes a lot of uh, changes in the in the way the coffee is is growing now, and also the conditions of the coffee and the production. I believe that the coffee itself. Um, because it becomes very popular, um, leave some room for experimenting. And you can see some people producing some of their stuff using the leaves, try to, to make some infusions. And that's basically what gives us an opportunity to inform the world that uh, the coffee trees can be used uh, for other purposes. We're going to prepare a drink using the coffee, the honey. This is the concentration of the juices of the fruit, the mucilage. Then for a glass of um, this drink, which is uh, six times more antioxidants than green tea, is around 1,301 units of um, normally what they used to measure. Stir it now, and this is the way the coffee honey can be used as a drink. You can add more or less or you can put some fruit, flour. And it's very tasty. It tastes like a um, berry sort of a finish. Very sweet with beautiful um, the taste. As a food engineer I, I did uh, develop um, some coffee by products when uh, I was studying at university. We were fermenting some coffee 
uh, ground already roasted um, and we use those coffee to produce ratafia which is like a coffee liqueur that that coffee liqueur was the base to develop the the traditional um, drinks now known as Tia Maria and that sort of uh, spirit. Coffee by products could be the solutions uh, to to leave this um, cycle of um, poor conditions in the coffee industry. Um, there are many uh, problems um, recently due to the economic factors and the environmental factors that affect the, the production of and the prices of the coffee itself. And the coffee growers, they are not getting what they really deserve to, to get as a, as a coffee producers. Um, some attempts have been done to, to create uh, specialty coffees and gourmet coffees and uh, certified coffees using um, different Labels like Cafe Tray and others, other uh, uh, attempts to, to put a seal, the organic, and and they will increase the price uh, in the market. But this this is only maybe two or three percent of the production. The other ninety eight percent is still under very poor condition. Then, uh, if we see what is the the value of a, of a pound of coffee in the market could be around one one dollar and fifty cents per pound, and a kilo will be around uh, almost four dollars. Well, in the at the end of the chain, the, the the price of a kilo of coffee already rose could could vary from twenty to twenty five, thirty, uh, maybe forty, fifty dollars a kilo. Uh, also depends of the of the quality of the coffee and the and the consumer. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Don't forget to make any comments and put some likes uh, down here. Then I see you next time. Hasta luego. Cheers.